Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how to build this Apple Watch. Of course, you're not gonna build the real one. This is going to be a mock prototype. Nothing really works in it, and um, that's it. At least you can have this before they release it sometime next year. So what I like about making the fake gadgets before its release is because you can take them and bring them out in public and try and trick people into thinking that you have the latest one even before it came out. So in this video, I'm going to show you the steps I took, uh, all the machinery I use, and the kind of materials I use in order to produce this fake mock-up. So what I have here is a Sureline CNC mill with a computer attachment to it so it can control it. I wrote up the program doing the perimeter of the block. You can see back here is I have the outline trace of where the tool will go. And I wrote this little program a while ago. And all I have to do is just run it and we can see what it's doing. Okay, so that went relatively successfully because uh, the bit didn't crash into anything, so I'm happy about that. As it turns out, this is about 0.4 inches thick. So now you see I got the basic shape of it. Um, it looks kind of like it. It's about the height and width, and I got the rounded corners. The thing I didn't like about this run is because when I did it the first time around, the first two corners, it cut off too much material and then on the edges it had to cut off a lot of material right at the tip here it ended up being a little fuzzy i don't know how aluminum can get fuzzy but i filed it off and it looks a little bit better now but you can still see a little not so good finish on it i think maybe if i were to do it again i'll take out most of the material and then uh do another last final pass but every time you do one pass is I have to program everything, so I'm kind of lazy to do that. Just going to do one pass. So the second time around, I did two passes, and it still wasn't good enough. I think I need to remove most of the material and then leave maybe like a couple ten thousandths or something for the final finish cut. Uh, so what am I going to do from here? You see the front face, this is about the size. I just print out the shape of these things and then we know that uh, the bigger bigger watch is 42 millimeters. This is the bigger watch and just from 42 millimeters you can find out all the dimensions of other things just by scaling them on, on a piece of paper. You just measure how this is supposed to be 42 and then this is supposed to be whatever dimension and then you can find out all the dimensions. What this looks like on the profile is pretty rounded. It's basically a whole half circle. So it turns out the 3 16 inch corner rounding bit, um, the shank is a little bit too thick for this machine. Um, it requires a half inch shank and I don't have that. So what I ended up doing was I bought, I bought a router bit. Here's my router bit. And it has a 3 16 inch radius. Uh, this is very close to what I need. It's not exactly, it's a little bit uh, smaller radius than uh, what I wanted but I'm not gonna go through the trouble and make it perfectly the same because this is just a gag thing right so I'm just gonna you know do it uh, as best as I can and actually I'm learning a lot just from programming it the first time so now that I have the perimeter cut out I just need to use this router bit and go along the perimeter and then it'll round off all these edges I just gotta do it on the top and then on the bottom, and then I'll have the basic shape. Okay, so I finished rounding off all the corners. I couldn't get a good grip on it so that I can go all the way around. So I had to grip it on one side, uh, round the corners, and then round this side. And then, and then there's some leftover metal right here. So I had to manually just go and shave those off. Didn't turn out too continuous because I have to remove it from the jaw and put it back in. And so it's not exactly aligned, but I'm hoping I can sand it later and get rid of all the uneven marks. 
marks. I just have the front face. The back face is exactly the same, so I gotta do that for the back face too and just round off all the corners. You'll notice that the rounding here, if you just go, if you just use this router bit and just round it straight and then straight this way, you'll have like a little, little bit of edge right here. So that's why this CNC is important so that you can go and route the edge and come around the corner that way so that it's completely round here. So that was a lot of work. I managed to round out all the corners of this thing. You can see it's very smooth. You can actually hold it and, and squeeze it without hurting yourself. Normally when you machine something, the edges are a bit sharp. But now this is completely round. So guess what I got? I went out and I printed out the front faces of the Apple Watch right here. So I'm not gonna put a real display in there just to do a mock-up. I'm just gonna cut little pieces of the actual photo and stick it in there. So I print out a four by six of the image. You notice I got several of these here. I did this one at what I thought would be the scale. This is a four by six photo, so I scaled it to there. And then I did this one uh, about 3% smaller on purpose, and this is about 3% bigger, just in case, because I didn't want to run back and forth and print multiple ones out. It turns out printing it out a little bit smaller was the thing to do. And I'll probably be either using this one or actually the regular one where I'll just cut out the border a little bit and it'll still fit and no one will notice that the letters are a little bigger. Uh, you see here I also printed out some things. I had to skew the aspect ratio of the back but I don't think I'm going to do the back. You probably, you won't really ever flip it over and take a look at it. I might, but uh, I just printed it out just in case. So the concept I have is I'm gonna take this plexiglass and put it behind and then uh, put a hole in this thing and set in the glass inside this piece of aluminum and then I'm gonna make it uh, contour the same way and then polish it so that it's clear again. That's the idea. I'm not sure if I can do it, but uh, let's try. Turns out this one works well. I'm, I'm cutting this one out right now. Okay, this completely blows because I just finally realized I thought it looked a little funny because the radius on the edges are, uh, I, I miscalculated on the edges here. It's a lot rounder than it's supposed to be and um, yeah, that sucks. I drilled a hole on this side and on this side and then I CNC'd through a channel here and then I went a little deeper um, after after this tapered hole because I wanted to look uh, rounded over here. So I got some straps from Ugly Watch I don't want. I know it's not gonna look like it. I just wanna put this on this one because I kinda messed up on the corners already. So I just wanna finish this and uh, be able to wear it. I'm not gonna make any mechanism to really stick it. I'm just gonna epoxy it in, in this channel and then fill up these holes with black silicone sealant and hopefully it'll look like it's sealed up and, and tapers off nicely. Same thing on the other side. Hopefully I can wear it afterwards. Words. I'm not even gonna bother with that little dial thing. Okay, so I finally finished with the watch and you can see that I can actually wear it now, which is kind of nice. I can bring it around. I actually wore it today and kind of tricked only one person, which is great. You notice I'm missing the little dial here. For the watch's front face, the front corner is a bit rounded. What I did for the plexiglass corners here is I took a sandpaper block and I've sanded it roughly on all the edges but you'll notice whenever you do that you make things kind of cloudy and hazy so what I ended up doing is I thought of um, using the headlight restore you can use that to um, bring any kind of cloudy plastic back into a clear shine instead of getting one of those kits what I got was this 3M assorted wet dry sandpaper um, it has it's, it's this auto kind, 3M auto kind. I bought this from Amazon. 1,000 grit, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500. 
uh, one of each except two of the 2000 grit one and, and then you just start with the lowest grit and then work your way up to the smoothest and then after you get to the smoothest it's gonna still be a little cloudy that's where you use this thing this thing is amazing I really like this compound thing because I always wanted to uh, get plastic to be a very very smooth finish so I use this 3M rubbing compound you just take some of it and just rub it it's not even like waxing you can just take that and just rub it a few times and then it'll become clear so that's how I got the, the really hazy stuff off the edges after I sanded it to be super clear like this you notice I put a slot along the whole length of the watch so that I can put the strap in but once you do that you're gonna be left with little holes here what I did was fill up those holes with black silicone and uh, this is like waterproof sealant you can use any kind of black silicone or any black filler type thing really and put it all in there um, I just happened to have some of this around so uh, I put it in all the four corners and so that in the real thing it looks like it looks like it blends into the strap right and then if you look at it from afar where you are now that it look it does look like it's blending in right a rough guess I spent at least 10 hours doing this very happy with the results it was just an excuse to for me to learn how to program the machine I learned a lot and I made a watch out of it so I'm really happy with this whole result so I really hope you like this really ridiculous video I made having a fake watch is not everyone's cup of tea because some people will just look at this and then go oh my gosh it's so stupid right but it's it's because it's so stupid that it's funny it's funny to me and if you find it funny please click like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching hey you know I actually made other really crappy gadgets such as the Google Glass somewhere over here and a fake iPad over here check it out